Capítulo 4 Y último Uf, a ver, este es complicado No sé si hay que usarlos todos. Vale, viene de arriba. No, pero no puede ser. A lo mejor estos de aquí no hay que usarlos. Ya está. No hay que usarlos todos. Es que creo que los anteriores siempre se habían usado todos. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby. Uh, Duke didn't show up for work today. We're We're, we're trying to get in touch with him, but, uh, James, if, you, if you're listening, buddy... Ah, oh, jeez, I just... I can't do this. I'm sorry. I have to get out of here. Stay safe, guys. Damn, it's cold. Coming here was the dumbest idea ever. That's what I tried to tell you. I said we have no way of finding Aquila HQ. I said we don't know for sure if that's even where they took the professor. I said even if we get lucky and find McBride, we have no way of rescuing him. You should have said something. Oh! What should we do now? We should try to find out more about Cajona. Anything that might lead us to the bad guy's HQ. 
Why do you think they took Professor McBride? Well, he told us he discovered the vaccine. But if they wanted to stop him making it, they could have just killed him. They kidnapped him, so that must mean they want something from him. And that means he's alive? I hope so. Do you really think the professor is okay? I hope so. I just don't know if we can help him. We'll think of something. We did okay so far, didn't we? Since when did you become Joe the Optimist? <sighs> Thing is, I really thought I was going to die back in Greystone. I've spent my whole life chickening out of stuff. But after I survived, things don't seem so impossible. That's good, Harper. But I kinda wish your journey of self-discovery didn't mean me freezing my cheeks off in Snowville. Okay, let's keep moving. That was the longest, bumpiest bus ride I ever had. Oh really? Were you sitting next to a cheese puff eating man spreader with B.O.? What are you talking about? I was sitting next to you. <laughs> Anywho, on the plus side, I just found us a map. Only for you. Is the secret Aquila headquarters marked on there? No. Vale, tenemos un mapa. Old Cajona, New Cajona y Ranking. Es lo que tenemos. Tenemos un sedal que no creo que nos lo dé. Ya verás cómo no nos lo va a dar. Hey, mind if I borrow this fishing line? No. ¿Ah, sí? Was that, yes you mind, or yes I can borrow it? Mm-hmm. You know what, sir? There's surly, and then there's confusing. Uh, take it already. I got. Pues si no lo va a dar por la cara. Mm -hmm. Pensaba que me pediría algo a cambio. Y la radio. Fisherman has a portable radio. I guess he uses it to check the weather reports and stuff. Hello. Evening. You folks lost or something? Why would we be lost? Most who come here are either lost or about to get lost. And you and your fella sure don't look like you're here for the ice fishing. Oh, he's not... I'm not... a... feller. Good to meet you. My name's Harper. This is Hallowell. Jane. Pleased to meet you, Harper and Hallowell Jane. Name's Burl. Do you live here in Cajona? Oh, no. I live across the lake in Rankin. I'm just here for the perch. Good, quiet place for fishing. Is there anyone living here? Not to my knowledge. They closed the mine after the outbreak in 92. Never reopened it. My wife is more superstitious than me. Doesn't like me getting this close. Cajona's a real ghost town. What do you know about the outbreak? They looked into it and discovered it all started with a shipment of contaminated corned beef. I heard the importer lost his license. Hardly seems like justice with damn near a whole town dead. Are they biting today? They're down there. Just have to be patient. What are you using for bait? Most of the younger folks use those fancy soft baits that wriggle like crazy. I prefer live bait. Seems fairer somehow. Pretty depressing radio, huh? Yep. Probably for the best that the battery died, especially with that interference scaring the fish away. Does the outbreak on the radio sound familiar at all? What do you mean? Does it remind you of what happened here? In Cajona? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> it couldn't be the same thing again. No. Pues yo diría que sí. What interference? Didn't you hear it? Every now and then you get some noise interfering with your station. People say it's the weather, but it's darn annoying, I'll tell you that for nothing. Any idea where the interfering signal might be coming from? Coming from? I never really thought about it. You think it might be a military broadcast or something like that? Something like that. Could I borrow your radio? Borrow it? What for? I'm kinda interested in tracking down that signal you mentioned. I told you the battery died, right? Sounds like a fool's errand to me. <laughs> Do I look like a fool, sir? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can borrow the radio. Vale, tenemos una radio otra vez. You can find my water hook. Un anzuelo de agua? Need a water hook? Yup. 
I must have lost mine somewhere up in the old village. And you want me to look for it? It's like a fishing hook, right? Exactly. Smart young fella like you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, deal. I'll keep my eyes open. Vale, a esto sí que me ha pedido algo. Un anzuelo de agua. Boy, it's cold up here. You tenderfoot should have dressed warmer. Tenderfoot? Who are you calling a tenderfoot? The fella wearing sneakers on the ice. Talk later. Vale, el anzuelo. ¿Qué más hay por aquí? These buildings look like they've seen better days. Or maybe they haven't. Just years and years of bad, bad days. This place is really run down. The fishermen called it a ghost town. Totally abandoned. A whole town to myself. I could get used to this. Why am I not surprised you like it here? No answer. Bueno, se supone que no hay nadie. Vamos a ver el truco de siempre. Hmm. I guess this is as good a place as any to start looking for a water hook. Y funciona como siempre. Man, it's dark in here. Engranajes congelados. Dark. I can't see anything. This must be the power switch. Oops. I think that bulb tripped the circuit breaker. <sighs> oh, it's too dark. I can't see anything. Ah, mira, aquí hay luz. Los plomos. Mm, calendario. 1992. Wow, that's like <laughs> Jurassic Park. <sighs> Oh, I should be wearing a jacket like that. Except not frozen to a chair. But that synthetic fur hood sure looks good right about now. Old cigarettes, newspapers, scribbled notes. Ugh, there's still some coffee in these mugs. At least it's frozen. Sí, porque si no estuviera congelado, imagínate el olor. It's empty out there. I wonder if this is what Yelltown is like now. Hey, a kettle. Otro hervidor de agua, otra tetera. Enchufes. I wonder if this power outlet still works. Bueno, si se han ido los plomos, no lo creo. An electric stove. It won't work while the power's off. Frosted light bulbs. You know, the guy who invented these was actually getting pranked. Back in, like, the 50s, nobody thought you could frost bulbs without the glass breaking. So as a practical joke, okay, they, they told new engineers to try and invent them. And then one guy actually did. A practical joke? Yeah, like when you send out the new kid for a long stand or striped paint. Or a water hook. <laughs> or water... Oh, he took me. Bombilla de infrarrojo y de luz verde. Vamos a ver para los que sirven. Yep. Okay. Pues yo creo que aquí nada más. Y me, algo me dice que los plomos no van a estar aquí, ¿no? Panel de control, engranajes congelados, bombilla. Estar afuera. Pero fuera no hay nada. Y 
Y no se puede subir por las escaleras. Pues tiene que estar aquí dentro, entonces. Oh, the RCD keeps tripping. I need to sort out that busted light bulb. Ah, hay que arreglar. Ah, es la bombilla la que está mal. Por eso saltan los plomos. Okay, let's see. This frosted light bulb should fit. Oh yeah. The machinery won't operate with those frozen gears up there. I wonder if the stove still works. Vale, dará calor. Yes, it does. Se fundirá la chaqueta. I wonder who the owner of this jacket was. It's an expensive jacket to just leave behind. <sighs> Except not frozen to that synthetic. I'll turn it off again. No, dejarla encendida. Vamos a dejarla encendida. I can't make those things work together. This will heat the kettle up. Vale, pero... Sin agua no hacemos nada, ¿no? O al menos sin nieve. Ooh, hot. I'd rather not. No. Hey, hello well? Yep. Okay. Y en la capucha... I can't do that. Tampoco. Y... Aquí... Break time's over, Gears. Time to get back to work. Ha! Ahora tengo que mirar por qué bombilla de varios colores. Okay. Gears are clear. So, where is the deafening sound of heavy machinery? Let's see. Ay, vamos a ver. Hmm. Error de configuración. Seleccione la secuencia de reconfiguración. Tenemos A, B, C y ya está. Tenemos aquí A, B, C y D. ¿Y por qué no llega esto a la D? Ah, sí llega. Hmm. Hmm. Estos son bombillas lo que va aquí. Ah, espérate. Aquí lo que va son bombillas. Ver roja y verde. Vale, A1 y A2. I don't think those things. I don't think I... No. 
No. Vale, sé que tiene que ver con las bombillas rojas y verdes, pero no tengo claro el gráfico. Aquí tenemos uno y tenemos dos, pero no está el 3, 4, 5 y 6. Y todas las rojas son iguales. Están en el 1, en el 3, en el 5. Es donde están las rojas. Y es las verdes las que van cambiando. No, I don't. Y la roja nunca se enciende. Y la verde se enciende, da igual donde la ponga, siempre hace lo mismo. La roja, la verde de aquí, se está comportando como la roja. Uno sí y uno no. No, ahora no. Ahora la verde sí que está haciendo. Es... Pero es que la roja no se enciende nunca. Vale, a ver. Esta es la... Esta es la B. O sea, eh, cuando pongo el número se comporta como lo que está aquí, pero es que la roja es la que no se enciende. Es como si la bombilla esta estuviera rota. Someone left a red light bulb in the box. Vale, sigo sin tener claro lo que hay que hacer. 
solo sé que cuando selecciono el, eh, la letra, la verde se comporta como lo que está abajo. Bueno, menos ahora. Ahora no. Lo voy a dejar así por ahora. No sé si hay que adivinar. Pero claro, es que si la roja no se enciende, yo creo que el problema está en que la roja está rota. Voy a, a ir... Supongo que estoy aquí, ¿no? Sí. Estoy en ranking. No puedo ir a ningún sitio. Creía que el mapa me serviría para eso, pero no. No puedo ir a ninguna parte. Ahí sí. ¿Qué es ah, no, es donde estoy. Vale, es donde estoy. La mina. ¿Cómo llegamos a la mina? Si no podemos salir de aquí. Pues hay que resolver esto entonces. Vale, este es el C. Esto que se está haciendo es el C. Yes, ah, pues ya está. Pues la roja no había que encenderla, entonces no entiendo por qué... It's operational again. Vale, pues ya está. No entiendo por qué estaba la luz roja si no se encendía. ¿Y ahora qué? La chaqueta supongo que me sirve de algo. De alguna cosa... I'll turn it off. Me servirá de algo la chaqueta, pero ay, habrá que descongelarla de alguna manera. Ah, era para esto. Ahí sí es como llego a la mina. Okay, the aerial tramway is working. I guess I can go up to the mine now. Great, I'll stay here and write a bestseller about your icy death. Hello, well. I mean, I'll operate the tramway from down here. Make sure you get back safe. Huh? Darn tootin' you will. Vale, ¿qué tenemos? Grapón de raíles. ¿Qué es eso? Vale, parece que hay dos caminos. No. Ya no, ya no hay dos caminos. Puente. 
si le pongo esto aquí, el grapón podría llegar. Nah. No. I need something to bridge the gap in the bridge. Avalanche warning. Guys, it's not really a warning if you put it at the top. Congratulations, you've reached the peak. Now, don't fart or you'll destroy a ski lodge. <laughs> All I can see is whiteness. Not a single living soul. Except that fisherman. Aquí no hay nada, ¿qué hay que hacer? Provocar un, una avalancha. Hmm, that ain't right. ¿Con qué? ¿Con la radio? Pues a lo mejor la radio sí que me la tengo que llevar de alguna manera. Hello. Harper, you okay up there? It's cold as crap, but yeah. Ready to come down yet? No, but I'm not finished yet. A ver si hay algo por aquí, algo que se me ha escapado. I don't want to tie and slash or garrot that. I don't think I can fish the fallen boards back up. They will not bite. Hmm, that doesn't make sense to me. I can't make those things work together. Pues no es que no se me ocurre nada. Romper la entrada, entrar en la mina. The entrance to the mine is all boarded up. Ah, how? Those boards are fixed on pretty good. Vale. Say hello to my little friend. Sí, ahora sí. Full of leverage. Ahora estas tablas sí se pueden usar con el puente. The boards bridge the gap, but they're very unsteady. I need to fix them in place. Con el sedal. This should hold the boards in place, for now at least. ¿Y se puede entrar en la mina o no? It looks real dark in there. No, no quiere entrar. Al menos no sin luz. Es lo mismo que antes. Vale, no quería hacer eso. The professor must be somewhere out there. I gotta find him. No hay nada. Lo único que se me ocurre es provocar una luz, que para eso está el cartel. Hello, well, you there? You want to come down? Yes, do the thing. Vale, aquí tenemos los dos lugares nuevos. Puedo ir directamente. Sí. Mucho mejor. The signal must be coming. The signal must be coming from somewhere on this map. The signal must be coming from somewhere on this map. El origen de la señal.
The signal must be coming from somewhere on this map. Ya, pero es que yo quiero usar el mapa. No quiero que me digas eso. Vale, está sonando el cubo que subía, pero estaba aquí ya. Otro error del juego. Anda que está llenísimo de errores. Creo que voy a necesitar la radio. Hello. Hello again. There's no such thing as a water hook, is there? <laughs> It was just a little prank. First time a kid comes out fishing, we always send them looking for a water hook. Hilarious. Totally worth the frostbite. Don't get sore now. I was only pulling your leg. Here, take the radio by way of a pump. Vale, pero no tiene, no tiene pila. You can use it as long as you need. Ah, se puede cargar. No hace falta pila. Pero hemos visto que aquí había un enchufe. Okay, let's get some juice in the old radio. I wonder who's paying the electricity bill. My guess? Someone with a secret radio tower. I hope the battery lasts long enough. Vale. Pues ahora sí, vamos a subir. Y a usar la radio aquí arriba. Darn it, I think... Yep. The radio battery died again already. It just doesn't seem to hold a charge in this cold. Vale, pues nada. Esto no me lo esperaba. ¿Y ahora qué? The signal must... Hay que taparla. Vale, vale. Hay que tapar la radio con el... Eh, ay, como el plumón que estaba allí. ¿Cómo lo llamaron? Ha venido dos veces. ¿Ves cómo el juego está fatal? La, con la chaqueta esta que está aquí. Except not frozen to a chair, but that synthetic fur hood. Hay que proteger la radio con eso. Con la chaqueta. The radio again, man. I don't think this is the place to use the radio. I don't think this is the place. Y si la rompo. Le, le arranco la capucha. The jacket is frozen, but the hood might come in useful. Ah, ahí estamos. Maybe the radio will hold a charge longer. It's better insulated. Eso es. Ah, it looks so cozy wrapped in the hood. <laughs> so warm. I am super jealous of this radio right now. Ahora a ver si llega arriba. Triangulation time. Va a estar aquí, ni un cono cojona, pero si sí, está marcado en el mapa ya. ¿Por qué me haces esto si ya está marcado en el mapa? ¿O no? Ah, pues no. Y hemos llegado. Anda que no es grande este sitio para no encontrarlo, ¿eh? Se tiene que ver a lo lejos. Look at that place. It has turrets. Turrets. We need to find a way in. Turrets, Harper, like the kind armed guards shoot you from. 
We need the cops or the Mounties or... We can't go back now. Maybe we can sneak in through an air duct or something. Air ducts? You think you're John McClane now? I think I'm trying to think of a way to help us. Maybe you should too. Well, maybe thinking is not your forte. You're going to get us both killed, jackass. Well, maybe you're... Antes ha dicho, ¿te crees que eres John McLean? O sea, el de la jungla de cristal. Y lo han traducido como, ¿te crees que eres eh, James Bond? Hubiera quedado mejor John McLean. No sé por qué le han cambiado el nombre. Hey, hello, well. I found something. The HQ must extend underground. <laughs> Harper! <laughs> what the? Oh my. <laughs> Hello, Elf? Help! Huh. Interesting. Hmm, a shallow alcove. Nice alcove you got there, Pendrel. Vale, será para esconderme más tarde. Well, what do you know? More pipes. <laughs> Timbre. What the? Who are you? I... um... Intruder! <laughs> Ala, muerto. Creo, ¿no? Sí, es para esconderme. Tengo que llamar y esconderme en el hueco. No sé si en... Bueno, en este no creo que se esconda, ¿no? A dark little owl. Kind of useful looking, but too small es to squeeze. demasiado pequeño para meterme dentro, vale. Hay que esconderse aquí. Hello? Huh? Lo voy a hacer varias veces a ver si se enfada. Hello? Huh? Y si no es que hay que hacer algo, algo más. Algo con las tuberías, quizás. Hello? ¿Eh? No. Es lo mismo. Vale, hay que hacer algo con, seguramente con las tuberías. Lo puedo a ver con la llave inglesa. I'd rather not. No. No sé, es que la lima no la no, no la hemos usado nunca. Y el abre botellas tampoco. Las tijeras, no creo. No, I don't think. No. Pues no, no va a ser eso. Hey, I think I have an idea. Vale, le va a poner una trampa con el sedal. Pero él nunca llega hasta aquí. A no ser... ¿Hello? ¿Eh? No, nunca llega. Entonces no hay que esconderse. Me da a mí que hay que llamar, quedarme detrás del sedal... Y cuando venga se tropieza. Who are you? I um Intruder. Pues no. ¿Cómo hacer? 
¿Cómo hacer para que escondido? Está claro que no. Y salir corriendo para el otro lado. ¿La radio? No. No, no me puedo mover. No sé, alejarme más, quizás. What the? I uh... intruder. No, desde lejos. Desde lejos hay que hacer otra cosa. Y poner la radio aquí. Vale, ahora sí, ahora sí me escondo aquí y él se va a tropezar. Hola. What you saying there? Sorry, I'm, I'm not getting it. Harper Bendel, you are becoming something of a badass. I better get moving. Vale. Tiene el, el aparato eléctrico este, ¿lo lleva encima o no? No, ya no lo lleva, qué pena. Vale. El ser humano es un depredador. But the efficacy of prototype treatments is way below estimates. We started the experiment too early. We had no choice. The Greystone cell betrayed the cause. But even the strongest, healthiest test subjects have died. If they died, they were not strong. But if we can't find that Pendril kid, it could be unstoppable. It could come here and... Are you afraid? If it is the votary's will, I would welcome it. Of course. Uh, yes, of course. Me están buscando. Y es porque saben que soy inmune al virus. Y solo se podían haber enterado por el profesor. Pero se lo ha dicho voluntariamente. O no. I guess this horrible music is supposed to calm the cult folks down. But it's just as creepy as those wacko announcements. Gert, you're with me. I'm Tony. Where's Gert? I think she's with Rudiger. I'm Rudiger. <laughs> no sabe. <laughs> no sabe quién es quién. Todos van vestidos iguales. Sectaria nerviosa y sectario estricto. Vamos a intentar hablar con ellos. Excuse me. What do you want, brother? Someone asked me to take a message to the prisoner. I don't understand. Which phalanx do you belong to? You know what? I must have misunderstood. Pardon me, sister. They act all culty and polite, but everyone seems on edge. It's like being in the dugout during a baseball game. La traducción no tiene nada que ver con el con los subtítulos, eh? Cosas de la secta. A ver si está... No se entera de nada y le puedo robar cosas. Un libro, panfletos, cosas de secta. Pero no me puedo llevar nada. Greetings, brother. 
Sorry, I I'm new. Just prepping for induction. Have we met? I just got here pretty recently, too. I'm... Gary. You seem to be struggling with something? No. Well, it's the creed. The creed? It's so stupid, because I know I know it. We all do. I'm just... I mustn't fail the votary. What's your problem with the creed? I keep stumbling over the words. I need to have it down before I get inducted. You want me to test you on the creed? Really? W would you? Sure. Close your eyes and focus. You're different from the others. Why are you helping me? I just don't want an inferior specimen like you to fail the votary. No, brother. I, I won't fail. I promise. Close your eyes and give it a shot. I bide within the firmament a star. A, a surrogate. Ahora sí le puedo robar cosa. Death. In de a book, some pamphlets, mm, cold stuff. No. You stumbled over the words a little. Keep studying. Wrong again. Ah, la tarjeta. La tarjeta. Greetings, sister. Greetings. I'm supposed to be interrogating McBride. You don't happen to remember where we put him. Who? Never mind. You're afraid of the votary? No! She's like... We owe her everything. Without Aquila, I'd still be... Like some... Pathetic loser. Um... Of course. Have you met the votary? Not one-on-one, -on -one, but, but her sermons are so inspiring. Like simple truths that make us strong. It changed my life. I hate the person I used to be. I was just about to head over to the virus containment zone. You been there lately? You mean incubation? No. M my pass is level one. Only the dorm and study areas. Hopefully I'll be able to serve the cause better after induction. Good luck, sister. Vale, pues su tarjeta no nos va a dejar entrar en cierta zona. Solo es de nivel uno. How long have you been with Aquila? Since my aunt threw me out, about 18 months. Joining, it totally changed my, like, perspective. It made me realize I could be part of something special. Important. I gave all my savings to the cause and I didn't even miss it. I don't miss anything about my old life. Are you still in contact with your aunt? Is this a test? Uh, of course not. No, I mean, was it difficult to leave her behind? It was the best choice I ever made. I hope the virus g gets her. You want me to test you on the creed again? Yeah, that might help. Close your eyes and give it a shot. I bide a, a surrogate below of man and beast was born for life death in death to play my part in brotherhood to serve the inner peace ya casi lo tiene. Yeah, it's getting there you don't really sound like you believe what you're saying i am so screwed vale tenemos la tarjeta An Aquila membership card. For accessing doors in the complex, I guess. You're with me on perimeter from 2300 hours. Yes, sister. But I was scheduled to scrub down rooms 3 to 6. That'll have to wait. McBride's been quartered in 4B. Uh, 4B. You know, I was looking forward to kicking the truth out of that fatso. Have faith in the votary's wisdom. McBride's a smart man. He made the smart choice. Ya sabemos dónde está el profesor. 4B, huh? 4B. Que estaba cerrada.
Y no creo que podamos entrar con la tarjeta que tenemos. Those yellow suits we're talking about, room 4B. This must be where they're holding Professor McBride. Blood is cold. The bonds of brotherhood go beyond... A card reader. It must need one of those ID cards all the Aquila guys carry. No creo que esta funcione. Ah, pues sí. Se suponía que no podía entrar en todas partes. Professor. Finally. Thanks for coming. I've modeled the numbers from the latest field report. Would you mind popping them up to the votary? What? Huh? No sabe que soy yo. Actually, I'll go myself. She's bound to have questions and I could use the exercise. Sorry I troubled you. Está con ello. Está con ello. What the hell? Psst, Harper, is that you? Y esta se ha colado. Hallowell, how did you get in here? You know, through an air duct. What's going on with Professor McBride? Is he working for them? I always suspected he knew something he wasn't telling us. Lo sabía, sabía que el profesor estaba metido en todo esto. I don't believe it. He, he wouldn't. Harper, you heard him talking about this votary. He's helping them. I overheard something about the virus. What? They're nearly out of it. They, they have all the remaining stock right here in the base. Are you sure about that? That's what I heard. Good. I'm going to search the room. Stay where you are. Vale, he encontrado algo. Harper, no voy a decir lo siento, te debo muchísimo más que unas disculpas. Quiero que sepas la verdad sobre lo que te pasó. Tenías cuatro años, yo estaba cuidando de ti en mi casa de Yelltown. Pensé que, te, que estaba durmiendo, así que sumergí completamente, eh, me sumergí completamente en mis investigaciones. No sé cómo, pero te subiste a una mesa de laboratorio y encontraste una de las muestras en la que estaba trabajando. Os mentí a ti y a tu madre. Le dije que era una reacción alérgica. Te mantuve aislado. Hice todo lo posible para ayudarte a combatir la infección. Fue la peor noche de mi vida. En aquel momento no lo sabía, pero tus glóbulos rojos se reconfiguraron una y otra vez para evitar que el virus invadiera tu cuerpo. Sé que el diseño de virus puede parecer una labor poco comprensible, pero estamos hablando de ciencia pionera. ¿Cuántos padres de familia que van cada domingo a la iglesia van a trabajar haciendo misiles? Siempre había tenido talento para mantener mis emociones a raya, por eso era tan útil para Aquila. Tan útil para ella, pero después de que tú enfermaras, me empezó a costar mucho más. Y luego ocurrió el accidente en Cajona. Podríamos haber salvado a aquella gente, pero yo te salvé a ti. Pero ella simplemente dejó que las cosas sucedieran, se limitó a tomar notas. Así que me llevé mi investigación conmigo y me fui. Me, excom me excomunicaron. Me apartaron del mundo, corté los lazos con mis amigos más íntimos, con la chica a la que quería desde la universidad, la mujer a la que amo. Pensé que ese sería el final de la historia, o al menos era mi esperanza. Cuando descubrí que RHC estaba tratando el brote de Yale Town, supe inmediatamente que Aquila estaba detrás de todo el asunto. Debería haberme lo dicho. No fue hasta cuando te recuperaste de la fiebre que me di cuenta de que aún estaban trabajando a partir de mis muestras originales. La nueva cepa que han creado es mucho más virulenta, pero tú sigues siendo inmune. Las células madre de tu médula ósea son la clave para la fabricación industrial de la vacuna. Eso te convierte en la persona más importante del mundo, Harper Pendrel. Ve de inmediato a mi laboratorio de la Universidad de Port Nicola. Cuéntale toda la historia a la doctora Ryan. Ella no sabe nada de esto. No sigas a Aquila. No intentes buscarme. Quizás sea ingenuo esperar que esta carta llegue a tus manos. Siento haberte involucrado en todo esto. No seas demasiado duro conmigo, solo soy un viejo chalado. Código de autorización. Aquí tenemos un código. A foolish old man. What the hell? Harper, what is it? The reason I recovered from the fever. I had it before. I got infected at McBride's house when I was a kid. He infected you? He says it was an accident. As if engineering viruses is the most normal thing in the world. Another cup of coffee, hun? A slice of homemade bubonic plague? Harper, keep your voice down! 
Oh, sorry. I'm just a little upset. Is everything in order? Yes. The votary sent me to fetch some documents. Very good. Hello, well. Upset you, though. Psst. Hello, well. Oh, damn. Pues el profesor tampoco es tan malo, pero tampoco es bueno. Aunque ahora mismo sigue trabajando para ellos, no sé para qué, no sé por qué está trabajando con ellos. The desk is covered with McBride's notes. It's all science stuff I don't understand. Yo creo que nada más. Looks like an elevator to the other levels. La clave. CMF de HQY. No, hay que esperar un poco. Decía que era un ascensor. Esto no es un ascensor. Yes, you have clearance to be here. He venido para recalibrar la unidad de contención del virus. Aquí es donde guardan todo el virus que les queda. I'm here to recalibrate the virus containment unit. That's why I'm here. You must have made a mistake with your rota. I bet you're right. I'll go check. Vale, hay que sacar a esta mujer de aquí, de alguna manera. Wow. I know this. This is the place Cardero built back in Greystone. Hey! Me han pillado. Saben que estoy aquí. Welcome to Aquila's induction program. This is the final step on your journey to self-actualization. Please sit in the chair. I don't think so. No. Mejor no. O no me han pillado, no? Parecía que sí, que me habían pillado. That is quite a home entertainment system. Ahí hay una puerta. Un panel. Cerrada. Not getting out this way. Pues me voy a tener que sentar, ya verás. I can't make those things work together. No, eso ya no funciona. I don't know if I want to sit in that. Please. Gah! God, that sound! I'd rather. Ah, qué pesado. God, stop doing that! I hope I don't. Se va a sentar, se va a tener que sentar al final. Welcome to induction. Let me go! Welcome to induction. Let me out! My head's gonna explode! What is the first truth? I don't know! Let me out! What is the second truth? Limita de respirar, Harper. Just try to breathe, Harper. Induction session extended. What is the third truth? Inspiro, expiro, 
Vamos a concentrarnos igual que hicimos en el árbol. Toes, feet, legs, arms. Induction session extended. What is the fifth truth? Home. Mom. Whoa. I just need a little time alone to think. Take out and shoot the three-legged mare. What? The worker act carries four times its weight. Buddy, that's not helping at all. The ape climbs to the apex. Cardero, focus. I, I need to get out of here. The eagle! The eagle! The eagle! The eagle! The eagle! Please, Cardero. The salamander eats its brother. Oh, jeez. What is the first truth? Vale, todas estas respuestas tienen que ver con lo que nos dijo Cardero cuando se desmayó en en su vamos en, la, en, en lo que hizo, lo que él construyó, que se parece mucho a este sitio. Así que vamos a hacer eh, el primero es el ser humano es un depredador. Eh, nos dijo que era la de la salamandra y la, como la salamandra tiene la sangre fría, pues la sangre es fría. What is the third truth? La tercera era la de la yegua. Como tiene tres patas, la debilidad es la muerte. Weakness is death. What is the fourth truth? Era la de la hormiga, que la hormiga tenía podía recoger, eh, coger cuatro veces eh, su peso. Y es la obediencia, es la fuerza. What is the fifth truth? Y la última es la, la del águila. El águila se eleva. Quillo rising. Hello? Hello? Can I go now? Rupert was right. There's more to you than meets the eye, Mr. Pendrel. I've never known a subject so resistant to induction. Why, it's as if you had no brain to wash. His girlfriend must be here somewhere. Dispose of her. Mom. No, stop. I know you. You're that politician, Thurlow. Senator Thurlow, if you don't mind. Although around here, folks call me votary. You attacked Yelltown. I ran a field experiment. The aim was to test prototype treatments for VHOV. I admit there were unforeseen incidents. Silverdale's attempt at sabotage forced us to start a little early, but it brought you here to me, so everything worked out peachy. Hmm, ¿qué quieres de mí? What do you want from me? Well, it ain't your good looks. Rupert tells me you're resistant to VHOV. That makes you very special indeed. I'm going to extract a teensy sample of your bone marrow and use it to produce a vaccine. In med school, I always lost marks for bedside manner. Can you believe that? Now try to relax, because this is gonna hurt like hell. ¿Y para qué quieres la vacuna? Why do you want the vaccine? Buena pregunta. There'll be time for all that after I take the sample. Or maybe not. I don't really care. Hold still. No! Ah! What a brave boy. Try not to bleed out now, you hear? Uh, uh. Harper! You found her, Rupert. Good job. Eh, el profesor le sigue ayudando. Yo creía que se iba a cambiar de bando, pero no, parece que no. Hello, well. Let... <laughs> let her go. It's so nice that we're all getting to know each other at last, but I've got my vaccine and a plane to catch, so...
kill the girl. Wait! Won't you at least tell us why you've done all this? <laughs> How charming we go. Pendril, now you're supposed to say, you'll never get away with this. You will never... <laughs> Not a great line, Reading. If you want to know why, Rupert can tell you. You first told me the idea when we were students. I don't think I believed you could really do it until Yelltown. The plan was to conjure up the fear of a worldwide pandemic, then cure it. Play the hero. Sylvia becomes the head of the Global Health Initiative with all the power that entails. And then... And then lather, rinse, repeat. A world without sickness is possible, and I can't let that happen. From the big grand coolie dam to the H-bomb, we have put science to work for us. Why not disease, too? What about the innocent people who die? In Yelltown? Greystone? Set dressing. Vale, pues al final solo era para hacerse la importante. Bueno, y para que la eligieran senadora y tener poder. Todo es por poder. Why are you helping her, Professor? Was this your plan all along? No, I swear it. It isn't easy to betray someone you love. I'm sorry. Sorry? Is that supposed to make... <laughs> Looks like the milk of human kindness has finally turned sour. You're a murderer, Thurlow. I'm a politician. That means making the hard choices. If a politician offers people hope, she'll only end up disappointing them. But if I give people something to fear, offer them safety, order, keep the good people healthy, the bad people sick, well then, folk will sell their own skins just to huddle under my wing. This is insane. You... You can't believe all that Apex Predator bullcrap? Of course not. But I know folk will die in their boots for a catchy slogan. So it's just about power. What in the hell do you mean, just about power? I'm about to save a million lives. I'm a national hero. Who wants to touch me? <laughs> just kidding. I would never let any of you touch me. I've heard enough. You and me both. I got what I came for. Rupert, sedate the boy. And shoot that snooping gutter rat. No! Otra vez esto. Uff, este tiene pinta de complicado, eh. A ver. Este de aquí, la única manera es desde así. Y este lo podemos hacer así, vale. Ya vemos todo este, este de aquí, este también está. Los dos de arriba, faltan estos dos. Este no sirve para nada. Así que la luz no puede pasar por aquí. La única manera es a través de este que está aquí. Así. Ah, y me quedaría uno. Así, ah, creo que así se puede. Listo. Esto es un flashback. Professor. Professor? 
McBride to Devlin. Halliwell is in incubation. You bastard! Keep her there. We have Pandrel too. I'm on my way. <sighs> Why did you have to come here? To rescue you! But that was before we knew you were two-timing us for some old flame. No! It's not as simple as that. It's exactly as simple as that. You're working for them. Damn and blast! I, I should have told Harper everything. Then tell me everything. Why are you doing this? Devlin will be here soon. ¿Quién es la mujer? Que le han rodeado en sus trampas, a ver. Has you wrapped around her little finger? I hadn't seen her for 25. Tell me her name, Professor. Sylvia Thurlow. She's the votary. As in Senator Sylvia Thurlow? Ms. Global Health Initiative? What a scoop. I mean, that's insane. I know. I know. ¿Cómo puedes trabajar para Thurlow? You work for Thurlow. After what she did to Yelltown? What she's done. It can't change the way I feel about her. It's in my bones. It's like falling back into an old habit. I didn't plan this, but I'm not strong enough to fight Sylvia. If I help her find a vaccine, at least there will be a vaccine. Hmm, eso es cierto. Si él no hubiera trabajado en la vacuna, seguramente la vacuna o tardaría mucho tiempo en descubrirse o nunca se hubiera descubierto y moriría más gente. Así que mmm, ahí, ahí lleva la razón. You've got to fight, Professor. Harper needs. Cornered her, Rupert. Good work. Is the boy with Sylvia? Aye, aye. She's prepping him for surgery. Come out, come out, Miss Halliwell. Devlin! I don't believe we've been properly introduced. Te he reconocido porque Harper me había descrito tus cejas. Harper's description of your eyebrows. You're funny for someone who isn't holding a loaded firearm. ¿Cómo puedes estar seguro de que no tengo un arma? Experience. Exijo ver a la senadora. No. Uy, se está acercando mucho. Tengo que acertar con las respuestas correctas. Don't come any closer. I'll destroy the virus. Oh yeah. How? By raising the temperature in there to boiling point. Can she do that, Rip? I, I don't know. If she's gained access to the... I mean, if she's rerouted the... It's possible. Christ. Ay, se va a meter dentro. Eso es una locura. Lock him in, Professor. The panel now. Hala, se queda cerrado. Thank God. I don't think you need to get out of here. No, Devlin said Harper was with her. Take me to them. It's too dangerous. I can't believe you called Harper a coward. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. I just have to follow this story to the end. Ah, tiene una grabadora. Vale, eso hace es un flashback y volvemos hasta aquí. You and me both. I got what I came for. Rupert, sedate the boy. And shoot that snooping gutter rat. No! It's okay, Harper. I'm okay. Vale, se supone que Helliwell lo ha grabado todo. Eh, no pasa nada, Harper. Podemos confiar en él. Harper, 
You just let her get away. Something's wrong. The boiler. The climate controls are malfunctioning. The superstructure may not be able to handle such a drastic change in... What's happening? We need to get out of here. Journey through there. Can you walk, Harper? No one leaves us. Oh, ya sobrevivido. Ahora parece un zombie. You drop the gun, Devlin. It's finished. I, I just need to tidy up. Give it up, Devlin. Your pathetic little clubhouse is on fire. Rot in hell. No! Ah, el profesor tenía que morir. Professor! <coughs> professor, are, are you okay? No, not great, actually. Don't worry, Professor. We'll get you out of here somehow. What a terrible mess. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Professor, I have to tell you. Vamos a perdonarle. I forgive you. I mean, I'm real mad at you. You were an idiot. But I want to forgive you. Is it Harper there? Yes, it's me, Professor. Such a fine boy. You must bring your mother around to dinner sometime. I will, Professor. Professor? Ah, han salido por la mina. We made it. Everything's gonna be okay. LOL. You were right. This was a pretty dumb idea. Yeah, but it was the right thing to do, I guess. Come on, Harper. We gotta go home. How do we get down? Sí, se acabó ya. Ah, no, todavía no. That I can announce a breakthrough in the treatment of the Yaletown virus. Following a series of successful trials, a new vaccine will be made available in the affected areas. Our doctors will be able to save countless lives and in time arrest the spread of the disease. This is a testament to the tireless work of RHC and all our health professionals, but it is also a warning. We must establish a global health initiative to coordinate our response to emerging health threats like this. We must take action. We owe it to the people whose lives have been claimed in this tragedy. Senator Thurlow speaking at a press conference earlier this week. However, a covert recording purporting to be of the senator strikes a very different tone. A world without sickness is possible, and I can't let that happen. From the big grand coolie dam to the H-bomb, we have put science to work for us. Why not disease, too? What about the innocent people who die? In Yelltown? Greystone? Set dressing. The other voice you heard was Jane Hallowell, who posted the recording on the Port Nicola Times blog today. Hallowell's piece made a series of explosive allegations. Talk radio. Where is she, Duke? Where is she? Well, Senator Thurlow has not issued a statement or appeared in public since the tape emerged. The spokespersons of the House Committee on Health Care condemned the Oh my god! Can't you see how huge this is? This is so huge!
How does it feel to be a national hero? Well, you're the national hero. I'm just some patient zero nobody's ever heard of. Then how does it feel to be in a national hero's apartment? Pretty amazing. I know, right? I can't believe we did it. I know, right? To think that a brilliant megalomaniac could be defeated by a brave but educationally subnormal handyman. Yeah, pretty scary, huh? What are you doing with your face? Um... Just felt like kind of a kiss moment. Nope, different kind of moment. Okay, yes. Good.